This conference will now be recorded. Hi, everyone. I wanted to start by thanking everyone who is joining us on this call today or listening to this recording. Recording. I am Teresa Dubert. I am a client solutions consultant with Scale Funder through Ruffalo Noah Levitt, uh, which is the platform uh, your organization is using to run their caring campaign this year. Today, we're going to walk through what it means to be an ambassador for Gardner Webb's GW United campaign, which is happening May 1st through the 15th, 2020, so right around the corner. I do have Kim Kruzman on the line who works for Gardner Webb's annual giving team. She's actually going to kick us off by explaining a little bit more about the campaign, the theme, and the concept. Kim? Hi, Running Bulldogs. My name is Kim Kruzman, and I am Gardner Webb's University Social Media Manager. And we are so excited to be kicking off the GW United campaign. We've changed what used to be known as Double Dog Day to the Gardner Webb United because we remain committed to helping our students. Um, so usually this was a one day giving day, but now we're changing it to extend a little bit longer to a two week period. And during this time, we are going to be sharing stories of how our alumni, our students, our faculty, staff, and community is living out our motto, Pro Deo et Humanitate, for God and humanity. And so what we're going to be doing is asking you for your help and your support to show what being a run and bulldog means and how you are caring for your community and just what it means to live out being a run and bulldog for life. So as an ambassador, let's first start by talking about what your job is and why we are asking you to participate in this campaign. So let's start by thinking about how we make decisions today, especially online. Peer-to-peer -peer reviews are very important. For example, how many times has a Yelp review affected your decision to go somewhere? Or what about buying a product on Amazon? Are you really going to buy that product if it only has one or two stars? Probably not, right? What about if your close friend recommends a new restaurant? You're probably more likely willing to give it a try. Or even when your favorite celebrity endorses a new product, you're probably more likely willing to try it because of that celebrity. In all of these examples, we are looking at peer reviews. Your goal on giving day is to act like one of these influencers. And one reason this works is because we do put a lot of trust in peer recommendations and social proof. All of the examples on this slide illustrate the idea of social proof. Social proof is extremely important because it's the number one thing people trust the most when making a decision online. As you can see in this graphic, 92% of people trust the recommendations from people they know over everything else. And you can see online consumer opinions comes in second at 70%. Your peers know you and they trust you and your op opinion. Even your peers you might not know on a personal level that might just be in your peer group or your network online, they also trust you and what you're posting about this caring campaign. So during GW United, you are the social proof and your opinion matters. When you post on social media and have a positive conversation, you are going to be encouraging others within your network to do the same. If you are talking about how giving back and caring for your community makes you feel good, and it's a good experience for you, you are going to make others want to participate in that same way. Your involvement persuades others to click on that link that you're sharing and make their gift show how they're caring too. That's why ambassadors are so very important to a campaign like this. So what exactly does an online ambassador do? How can you get started and be the most effective at promoting GW United? 
So part of your role is to rally the troops and inspire your networks to get involved and make a gift. You are inspiring everyone to find something that they want to support. There are um, different areas you can give to and you're helping your peers find their way to support something that they love. The idea here, even though this is a difficult time for our communities, the idea here is to make this fun. You want to make this a celebration about your university and your experiences and how you are caring and stepping up during this time. You are also helping to further the mission of Gardner-Webb during this campaign. Something to keep in mind is that your networks will be more inspired to give and join you in this campaign if you're sharing your personal story. Why does this institution um, matter to you personally? What is the impact it has made on your life or your career? Those are the things you want to be sharing throughout the day. So how do you do this? How do you use the technology we have available to you? Let's talk about that next. So we are asking you to help spread the word. And it's really very simple. You have the tools. You probably have Facebook, Twitter, or LinkedIn. You're already likely using these on a daily basis. So go ahead and make sure you're using them during this caring campaign as well. You are going to want to post multiple times throughout this campaign with different stories about what the institution means to you. And then you want to share your personal fundraising link to send your networks to the Caring Campaign site to make a gift. That image on the left of this slide is showing what we call the ambassador dashboard. And we are going to walk you through um, that in just a minute. If you don't have social media, that's okay. There are other ways you can share the excitement about this caring campaign. Word of mouth, if you happen to be um, at an event, whether it's an alumni event or a general event, an event online, bring up GW United. Ask your fellow alumni if they've made a gift. Talk to them about your experiences. You can pick up the phone and call up your friends. I know that people aren't in person at these events right now. So you can call your friends and family and classmates and talk to them about giving, about this caring campaign and why it's important for them to join you. So now I want to get into some of the technology. I mentioned on the previous slide that you'll have access to a personal fundraising link. So I want to walk you through that. And I think you'll find uh, that the platform is pretty user friendly and the Gardner Web team has come up with a number of social images and resources you can use to make your job a little easier. So the first thing you're going to want to do if you haven't already is sign up to be an ambassador. There is an entire ambassador page within the Caring Campaign website. So to sign up, you can either go to the main giving day page, so that's doubledogday.gardner-web.edu, visit that page, and click on the ambassador tab in the right-hand corner. Once you click on that tab, you can sign up using your email or your Facebook account. You can also use um, the ambassador page to log in once you've created your account. So after this training today, please make sure you go ahead, visit that Double Dog Day website, and sign up to be an ambassador. Once you enter your email to sign up, you'll receive this sign up email, which invites you to create an account to access that ambassador dashboard. In order to receive your personal fundraising link, you do need to create an account, and all you need to create an account is your email address and a password. So it's really slick and, and simple, doesn't require a lot of information, just an email and a password. Once you create your account, you will receive this welcome email, which includes your personal fundraising link, and it also includes details about how to log into the ambassador dashboard. So 
once you get that account created, you have access to the ambassador dashboard. This dashboard includes a lot of different information and resources to help you during this caring campaign. The first thing you'll see is the prompt to share. You have three social media easy share buttons. You can see on this slide, Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. And you also have that easy email share button. These share buttons automatically include your personal fundraising link. So you don't have to worry about copying and pasting that link from that email you received. You can come into the dashboard and use these quick share buttons. These share buttons just make it a little bit easier for you to share that link and start tracking your progress, how much you're raising, how many clicks your, your um, link is getting. So you will notice that your um, fundraising link is quite long, and we realize that we, we want to make this as easy as possible for you. So what you can do right in the ambassador dashboard is change your URL to a short URL. That's what this bottom box is showing. I went ahead and just used my first name and I was able to save that and, and then the link is much shorter when you do share it on social. So just a little tip there. So your personal fundraising um, link is always available to you in that user dashboard. I can't stress that enough. Um, you don't have to search for it in your email. You can just log into the ambassador dashboard and grab it from there. And then the cool thing about the fundraising link is that you can um, change where that link points to. So you can um, choose which featured area you want um, to point this, this link to very common to just point to that main page gw united so that your friends and family can see um, the page enter enter the site from that home page and get a good understanding of what the caring campaign is all about and then the great thing um, for you is that even if someone decides to give in your network to an area that you're not as interested in they can give to any area their gift is still going to count toward your totals um, that you see in your ambassador dashboard. It does not matter where your network or peers decide to support as long as they're using your fundraising link. So the best part I think about the ambassador dashboard is, is being able to track your progress. You can see which of your friends and colleagues are giving back. You'll see the totals you have raised, You'll also see a list of your donors, as long as your donors haven't made their gift anonymously. Um, you're also able to track how many clicks you've generated from your share, who's clicking on your Facebook link, who's clicking on your link from Twitter. And we hope that this, um, this tracking encourages you to share as much as possible. It does make it fun to see um, the impact you're having. The more um, chances you share throughout this campaign, the more chances your friends have to give. So make sure you're sharing and sharing often. Um, if you prefer not to use those easy share buttons, just remember to include your personal link in whatever you decide to post on social media so that um, the platform is tracking um, the impact that you're having as an ambassador. So also within the ambassador dashboard, you're able to download images and a toolkit. And these items were created by the Gardner web team and they're there to just help your, make your job a little easier. I'm gonna have Kim um, just walk us through the next um, couple slides. In this toolkit, what you'll find is a couple of different graphics that make it easy for you to show your Gardner web pride. And just a, a note as well that these are just building blocks. So we also, you know, love seeing your own content, your own um, stories, your own images as well. In the top left, you'll see what a profile photo. So this can be used um, on Twitter, on Facebook, um, in all photos place. Um, right below that, you'll see a cover photo. So again, this can be used on Facebook to replace your current one through the campaign. And then that third graphic on the right is a social post that you can put in your feed, on your Instagram, on your Facebook, on your Twitter to show that support, um, especially leading up to the campaign, um, you know, the day, the day before, the day of, um, just to build excitement as well. 
And then the other resource we have that is available within the Facebook platform is um, the Facebook frame. If you go and you edit or you click on your profile picture on that little camera graphic, there'll be a button there that says change frame or add frame. Um, and if you type in the hashtag GWUnited or Gardner Web, the frame on the right will pull up. And in that um, area, you'll additionally have the opportunity to set it temporarily. So that way you can set it for the duration of the campaign. Awesome. Thank you, Kim. Okay, now to finish up, let's talk about what you should be sharing. What do you want to say? We want to encourage this. Um, we want to encourage you uh, to, to um, share your personal stories as they relate to Gardner Webb University. So let's talk a little bit about that. Rather than just sharing your personal fundraising link, it is much better to share personal stories and anecdotes with your fundraising link. So here are some questions that can um, help you start thinking about what to share in your email and social posts. First, what are you passionate about in relation to Gardner Webb? Did your um, degree help you land your dream job, for example? Did you meet lifelong friends while you were at Gardner Webb? Do you want to pay it forward to help other students during this time? You could also think about sharing your favorite Gardner Web memories, your favorite place on campus and why, your favorite class or favorite um, professor. You could also think back to why you decided to study at Gardner Web in the first place. Um, and share how, um, how you're caring for your community. That's what this campaign is all about, showing that Gardner Web cares. These are all things you can easily craft into a personal message or narrative, which will make these statements so much more impact, impactful to your networks. We also uh, want to encourage you to use I statements, which can be really effective in helping showcase the need um, for your institution, including a statement like, I'm giving because, or I care about Garner Webb because, makes it nice and personal. Um, but then we also just want to remind you, make sure that you're always including your fundraising link and a call to action um, when you share on social media. You're asking your network to join you in making a gift today um, for this campaign. So Kim uh, was able to pull together some examples, some great examples from last year's Giving Day campaign. And so I'm gonna have Kim just walk us through a couple of these examples. So here's a few examples of um, different ways that students got on board and supported. On the left, there's an example of, um, you know, a group of students all together showing that community. Example might be, you know, in, in this day and time, um, a throwback photo of some of your favorite campus memories or the impact of scholarship on your life. On the right, so on the right, you see an example of a student who made a video um, and a song about it. Um, on this slide, you see alumni wearing some of their favorite Gardner Webb apparel. And I love the, the one on the right with Lynette. On her Instagram, she shares her whole history, you know, all the way to throwback photos. So we love seeing where our alumni are now, as well as where they have been. So just a reminder too of, you know, whether you're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, um, you know, TikTok, whatever platform you're on, there's so many different ways to show your support. Here, Holly, one of our alumni um, just sent a, a simple tweet with a link to the giving platform. On the right, we see the next generation of a run and bulldog. Include pets, you can include family members, um, young and old to be a part of it as well. Um, here are some examples of the way that our faculty and staff are getting involved. Again, the one on the left shows Noel showing his support um, using some of those branded graphics that we created for last year's campaign as well as the benefit of a scholarship that he got. Um, so again, sharing his story in the context of the giving day. And then on the right, we have Gardner Webb Music Department showcasing the impact of um, the, the doubling of donations during the campaign. We see Dr. Edder um, getting the whole department involved. So if you're 
the English department or the natural sciences know that you can get colleagues, get students, um, get the whole department excited and involved. Thank you, Kim, for sharing those examples. To wrap up, what are the next steps for you all to take to make this year's caring campaign an awesome one? So first and foremost, you do need to sign up if you haven't already and then customize your personal fundraising link. At the same time, it's good to start thinking about your personal story and what different anecdotes you want to share throughout the campaign. This is a fun campaign. It's a fun time for you to think about Gardner Webb and how, how much that university matters to you and to your communities. So get excited. Uh, do remember to track your progress via the ambassador dashboard. That's part of the fun, seeing what your impact is. And then on May 1st through the 15th, share, 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 um, spread the word, shout it from the rooftop, get your networks excited and involved with the Caring Campaign. We'll leave you with this final slide, um, which is a reminder to visit the Caring Campaign website um, and email Kim at kcruzman at gardner-web.edu if you have any questions about this training or about your um, role as an ambassador. Thank you all for joining us and helping make a difference during this time. We appreciate it.